Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. <laughs> All right, so today's video, we are gonna be doing high-end Dollar Tree Farmhouse DIY Home Decor. This is Christmas 2020. I am so excited about it and we are going to jump right in. DIY number one. Okay, so for this DIY, I got these um, wall stickers for a dollar, y'all. Are they not cute wall stickers at the Dollar General Store? The little sign that I have came from the Dollar Tree. Um, it was like in my fall stuff, like, <laughs> like it's not still fall outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I just painted this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It honestly does help my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell and you will know each time I upload a new video. All right, so I painted the little sign white. Um, I used my heat tool in between there. That thing is a lifesaver. All right, now I'm gonna be using some mineral by Waverly and I'm just going to dry brush this super, super light. That brush there that I have, I have had that forever. I have no idea where I got it from. I don't know where it even came from, actually. Anyways, um, it just showed up in my in my brush set one day. Like, I just kind of found it. I probably had it forever and just didn't know it. Anyways, it is perfect for distressing. I cannot find another one like it, though. That's the only thing that, that sucks about that. But anyways, all right. So, we're dry brushing this. Enough about my stupid paint brush, right? <laughs> all right. We're dry brushing this just very lightly. I didn't want my wording to get lost in the, you know, uh, distressing of it. So that's why we just did it real light. I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm just gonna add a generous amount. I'm putting this all over the sign, actually. We've got a couple different stickers going all different directions. So that's why we're gonna put it all over it. Plus it'll protect the paint also. Now, I had already kind of placed this out to decide where I wanted it. And the cut and carry that's at the top of the of the sticker, it wouldn't it kind of made it all look scrunched together whenever I tried to add it too. So I decided to just leave it off, add everything else. I started from the bottom, worked my way up, works out perfect. So, so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. I mean, I love this sign, y'all. I can't wait for Christmas. Is anybody else like totally ready for Christmas? Leave me in the comments. Let me know. Are you into Christmas right now or would you rather, you know, just focus on fall? Let me know what you're thinking. I feel like I personally have kind of skipped fall and went straight on into Christmas mode. <laughs> I mean, I would love to do some more fall DIYs for y'all. I do actually have quite a few more that I, I could do, but uh, let me know in the comments on that too. Would you actually rather be seeing some fall right now? Now, I took this wire. Um, they sell wire at the Dollar Tree, but it's thinner wire. You can use it. That's that floral wire. I found this at the Dollar Tree also, but I haven't seen it in a long time, but it's a thicker wire, like a, a thicker gauge wire. Now, um, I just beaded this wire all the way around. I left about two inches, inch and a half, two inches or something on each side of it. All right. Now we're going to take that and kind of curve it into a C and then thread it up through the back of the sign. Just threading it up through there. Kind of bend it upwards. Now, I'm taking some needle nose pliers. And I have seen Caitlin on Crafts by Caitlin do this a thousand times. And she makes it look simple. And I had a little bit of trouble, okay? <laughs> like, it was not that simple for me in the beginning. But the second one turns out perfect. So anyways, it's not that hard to do. You just twist it around into a little twist and there you go. So simple. So, so cute. DIY number two. 
So for this DIY, I have these little mini picks that I got from the Dollar General. I have this little sign from the Dollar General, also a dollar. Um, this one was a dollar. This is an ornament from the Dollar General, ribbon, Dollar General. All of this stuff came from the Dollar General except for the burlap ribbon. And that there came originally from Hobby Lobby. But a good friend of mine, Shannon, uh, she donated that. She donated to a good cause. That's what she done. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. All right. Now, I have tablecloths also from the Dollar General. And then I've got three different size boxes. So... What we're doing is making a, okay, so all fall long, all I've heard is topiary, 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 topiary. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's like a million and one ways to do the pumpkin topiary. So I thought, why can't I do a present topiary, like a crit for Christmas? Why can't I do one that's out of presents or, you know what I mean? Like out of gift boxes. So that's what we're doing. Now, I'm taking the ones that are have the pictures and the colors and all that stuff on the outside of the box and just wrapping those in um, craft paper instead of like painting them or anything like that because we're going to be using those tablecloths to actually cover them and the tablecloths are kind of thin so you could see through it. So it had to be some kind of solid color and I thought I'm not painting these boxes and wasting my paint. I'm going to just, I'll just cover them with craft paper. All right, now that's what I did. So taking those, um, the tablecloths and I'm just going to wrap this up just like a regular present, like, you know, like you would wrap a present. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just using tablecloth. So just cut your ends off. Make sure you got it kind of, kind of wrap it like you make it look nice as you're wrapping it. Make sure it's tucked really good, like on the sides and underneath, you know, as long as the top is fine, you're good. And one side, you'll, you'll be fine. Just wrap it the way you would wrap a Christmas present. That's all you got to do. Now, once I had them wrapped, I'm going to take some hot glue. And yes, the hot glue does melt the um, the back, the uh, tablecloth. Excuse me. I cannot talk tonight. It does melt it, but that's okay. Like, no big deal. Just pop your next one on top. And then you're going to go in with the smallest on the top of that. This turns out so pretty, y'all. And I love it. I, I love everything. I know I do. I can't help it, y'all. I get so excited about some anything home decor. I get so dadgum excited. <laughs> All right, so I am taking this ribbon, and I'm just going to fold it over on itself. Just keep on folding it over on itself. I think I do this about six times, actually. And what you're wanting to do is get three of those loops on each side. So I needed to fold it over one more time. Snip it off. Now I've got three on each side the little ears or loops, whatever you want to call it. Now, once I've got it like that, I'm going to snip it on each side. Just barely snip it. You don't want to cut all the way into the ribbon. You just want to barely snip the sides. I'm going to do the same thing with this uh, buffalo. No, this is the um, red truck ribbon. We're just going to fold it over on itself and keep doing that until we've got three little loops on each side. And you can do as many loops as you want. I just like... Uh, for basic or standard, you know, bow like this, I just do three loops on each side. And I actually learned this from um, Olivia's Romantic Home. That's what it was. And she calls it the Olivia bow. So I have no idea if that's the real name for it or like she just calls it that or what. But anyways, either way, she's got a great tutorial on how to do it exactly. She really explains it very well. And I, that's how I learned it. Now, I have got a zip tie here and I'm just going to pull that zip tie right through where you've made those snips in the ribbon. On each side, you're going to pull it right through there. So you want to have them kind of lined up. Pull it through. Then you're going to cinch it down. Get it as tight as you can. And I kind of push mine towards the front as I cinch it down. Like I push the ribbon towards the front. Kind of fold it that way. Snip it. Now's the fun part. All right. Just go around and fluff all of your little loops. These are beautiful bows. Very pretty. Because you made those slits on the side, now you can, you know, kind of um, manipulate this bow a whole lot more. You can move it around in all kind of different directions, pull. I mean, you can, there, you can do so much more with it because you've given yourself a little bit of leeway there. Now, I forgot to put the tails on. So, what we're going to do is just cut off ribbon off of each one of them little one little shorter than the other, you know, kind of kind of stagger your ribbon as far as like the tails that you cut off. But you want it good size. You want it where it'll drape all the way down your your boxes. 
Now, I did dovetail the ends of everything. You just fold it together, snip it upwards, and then you've got dovetails. All right, I pinched it together. I took some of that wire that I was showing you just a minute ago, that, that fine um, floral wire, and I'm just going to twist it around it and make it, you know, get, make sure this is good and tight. Make sure it's good and together. Now, I was going to actually glue it to the back of the bow, but I thought, nah, I'll just glue that to the box and then glue the bow to the box. That way, they're both, you know, secure and holding on, holding each other down, kind of. So, just add your glue, glue the tails down. You should actually add the tails before you put that zip tie in in the beginning, but I forgot to. So, hey, whatever. We're doing whatever works, okay? Now, as I'm waiting for this to, the glue to dry, I as you see me there, I'm just kind of twirling those ribbons, and it will make them look like they're curled. Now, I'm taking that, uh, the mini picks and also the ornament, and I'm just going to take that little hanger off of the ornament, add a little hot glue here in a second, right now, yes, and then pop that baby right on. Y'all, this is so simple, but it really turns out beautiful, I feel like. I really, really love this. All right, now I'm taking one of those mini picks and I'm just going to put it over on the side, you know, kind of where in a um, pumpkin topiary you would put the leaves or the lamb's ear or, you know, whatever, stuffing it in between. I'm, I'm just taking this pick. I took one of them apart and then I used one of them whole and I'm just stuffing that in between where the um, boxes meet. This really turns out so pretty. And it was so simple to make. It's literally like three random boxes and some tablecloths. And I love it. Okay, DIY number three. So, my aunt gave me this uh, house, this metal house, and I immediately knew exactly what I wanted to do with it. And here I've got some fairy lights that I got from um, Dollar General. Now, I'm going to be using some of my Arteza paint, and I have been just been totally, totally amazed with the Arteza paint, okay? Like, they got it going on. So check out the Arteza in my description box for sure. All right. Now I'm taking the burnt sienna and the silver. I also have a little bit of burnt umber there too. Just going to be dabbing it on at literally around the edges. Anywhere that this would naturally rust, that's where I'm actually going to add the, um, the burnt sienna. That's what I went in with first. And y'all, it looks just like rust. I can't believe it's acrylic paint. Let's just talk about that for a second. Like, really? It's got the best, best um, coverage to it, for sure. Y'all, they have so many different colors to choose from. Like, I I'm just in shock. And they've been, they actually sent me um, some, like, metallic colors. They're beautiful. I'm talking about beautiful. I cannot wait till spring and summer. Oh, my gosh. I've got lots of ideas to do with some of that paint. It's just gorgeous paint. It's good. It is good paint. Anyways. All right. Now I'm going to be taking this ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and also this pick that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now I took the pick and just fed it right through that, uh, the loop that was up top there. I'm going to twist it around and push it right back through. And that holds it in place. And it's actually really secure on there. It's not going to pop off or anything like that. It, it's really securely on it. Now, I didn't do like a detailed um, view of the bow again. But what I'm actually doing is just making that same exact bow that we made in the previous DIY. All right. Now, once I had my bow ready and I'm just, you know, going to fluff that bow out real good, twisting it up with the um, zip tie, just like I did before, Want getting it just as tight as I can. 
I've got the slits on each side. You can't forget that part. That's the most important part is getting those slits on the sides and then being able to pull it through there because that's what lets you be able to really fluff that bow. And obviously that's what looks the best. So once I got that done, I'm going to take another zip tie and go through the bow around the, the um, tails and then through that little loop that was on top of the house secure it in real good. I'm going to fluff it all again. I actually need to, sl I, I snip that, you know, in the back, fluff it up, twist these around a little bit. We're almost done, y'all. That's how simple this was. These little houses, you can find these at the Goodwill and, you know, pr fairly reasonably priced also. So stinking cute. Oh, it turns out so pretty. So, so pretty. Added my fairy lights, fluffed a little more, <laughs> and there you have it. I think it is gorgeous. DIY number four and our final DIY for today. So I started out with these two shelves from the Dollar Tree, also a candlestick from the Dollar Tree, E6000, and my hot glue gun. Now I took the shelves and on the inside like bottom ledge of the shelf, there was like this little lip. You, there you can see it. So I'm going to take my box cutter and just score it real good and it'll actually snap right off just pops right off. So I just popped those off of all four. There was two on each um, shelf and it was causing it to not lay flat against the other one. So anyways, and it still didn't lay just totally flat. I believe those metal things that are on there is actually what was kind of keeping it from completely laying flat, but we do get it glued together. So don't worry. Now I'm just taking some E6000 and kind of spacing it out. That way I can do my hot glue around it. I'm going to take my hot glue and just go around where I've got my E6000, kind of alternating it. I added a lot of, of super glue to, I mean, super glue, Lord have mercy, a lot of hot glue. <laughs> All right, now I just held it together real good, really tight, flip it over. I'm going to take some uh, craft sticks, glue those down, just extra support, added support, whatever you want to call it. I did have to cut the ends off because they wouldn't fit inside there. Glue it down. Now, I am going to take um, the hot glue gun and just go right down where that little crack is. I'm just filling that in with hot glue. Just that much more support that it's going to hold together. All right, now I'm taking the E6000 and placing it spacing it out across this um, candle holder. That way I can put my hot glue in between there also, alternating it. Now, for those of you that are new to this, we use the E6000 for long-term hold and the hot glue for like right now. You know, you want it to stick together right now. All right, now I'm going to take some of the wood glue, wood putty or chalk, caulk. <laughs> I just got so tongue-tied. All right. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to take some of the caulk from the Dollar Tree and just fill in the crack. So I go all the way across the top, up the sides, and then down the side, just filling in that little crack. And it actually works really, really well. And we're going to put something over the top of that, so you're not going to even see that anyways. But it really does work very, very well. Looky there, filled it right in totally works. All right. Now I'm taking my contact paper. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box for you. Um, I just took it, laid it down, kind of got it as close to the edge as I could because I didn't really want to waste a lot of it, but I wanted a very straight, you know, edge across there. Um, placed it down. And as you see there, I'm just taking my fingernail and running it right down where I'm going to need to cut. So I'm just making like an indention with my fingernail so I'll know where to cut. Now I'm going to take my rotary tool that I've gotten so 
I don't know, just I use it all the time now. I had it for a long time and didn't really know what to do with it. And now I use it for like everything. So it, it's it's odd. I just all of a sudden decided to start using the rotary tool all the time. All right, now I'm taking that contact paper. I'm just going to lay it straight down. I should have Mod Podge this on because it didn't stick that well. And I believe it was because this is plastic and it's also got that kind of shiny coating or whatever to it. So I really feel like that's why it didn't stick because I actually did a um, an end table, no, a coffee table it, with this on top of it and it worked out fine. It, I haven't had any trouble out of the coffee table, but I believe it was because it, that was plastic. I really think that's why it didn't stick. But anyways, now I spray painted the bottom of that so that those craft sticks would be white and also the a candlestick would be white. Got everything on there. It's all ready now. That's all we had to do. That's how cute this little, this little tray is. And then you just take a few little items. We've got our little picture. Now I've got this ornament that I got from the Dollar Tree and it's gorgeous. Hello. Look at that metal sleigh. Too cute. Added three little things. Play with it a little bit. I mean, I obviously knocked it off because I'm the clumsiest person in the world. <laughs> but just play around with it and you can make it really cute for super, super cheap. Love this. Last look at everything. This is the final reveal. y'all that is it for today i hope that y'all have enjoyed this i know that i've had a great time doing it if you did enjoy this video please please give it a thumbs up don't forget to share this with your friends and family i would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell so that you will know each time i upload a new video now check me out over on instagram and facebook it is at blessed beyond measure crafts Definitely check me out there. Great place to connect. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all have a blessed day.